All that and more coming up on America East Online. After winning its first conference championship, the UMBC Retrievers are excited to play in the NCAA tournament. We profile coach Pete Karinji and star junior midfielder Andrew Bowles as they talk about defeating UNH, how they did this season, and preparing for the NCAA tournament. Last year, I mean, we were so close we could almost taste it, you know, so just getting that close and uh, it really, we, it translated into this year and, you know, we said it all year long, just remember how it felt and remember that feeling of just being so close and not getting there and uh, we, we've said it all year long that, you know, we want to get back to where we were and this year when we get there, we're really going to take it and that's what happened. Um, you know, we were really confident going into our final game. Um, you know, it was the championship. We've been there before. Last year we were a bit of underdogs. We're just really excited to be there. And I think this year we're veterans. You know, we've already proven ourselves before. We were, have, we were going through an October stretch of, I think we ended up being like seven, one, only losing one game. You know, we were just really confident, but not too overconfident. So um, going into that last overtime and going into PKs, I think, you know, whatever happened, happened. But we were, we were really confident. We were really satisfied with, you know, the way things have been going. And the way our coach really prepared us for the, get, for the last part of the PKs was just, you know what, whatever happens, happens. Because in soccer, anything can happen. But, you know, you guys really proved yourself. And just be confident and step up and take it. I'm really emotional because this is something we really worked hard for. Um, from last year's final to this year, um, we really wanted to have host the game the finals, and we were fortunate enough that that can happen. We wanted to win in front of our home fans. Our kids have really worked hard for this um, for the last two years, and it's just it was part relief of uh, knowing that we finally got it done, and satisfaction in knowing that these kids really worked hard and they got something and put a lot of hard work into it. And I had to take uh, the next PK to you know give us a little bit of breathing room, so. You know, I stepped up. I've, I've taken big, you know, PKs like that before, so I was, I was pretty confident. And then when that last one went in, it was more of a relief rather than, you know, oh, we did it. It was a relief that, you know, we, we've gotten this far and we, we're, we got it. So, um, you know, last year was its own year. Uh, you know, I took on that role as a team, um, as the, the scorer. You know, every, t every team has, you know, role players. Uh, they have a job to do. And, you know, last year that was my job, it was to put it away. And this year was more of, you know, get back in the midfield, defend, distribute, and I did as well as I could. And, you know, it was just, each, each season is different and each year is different. And, um, you know, I just embraced my role this year and it's helped the team a lot. So, well, we're, we're all across the board, we're all really excited. You know, we were really excited from getting this title and this championship. And, uh, you know, we're pretty much ready for anyone. A, a lot of teams in the NCAA, they've been there before. They've, you know, they have kind of like a standard or an expectation for their programs. But, you know, I think we just have a really air of just, you know, we're excited, we're ready for anybody and, you know, bring it on. Uh, I think is that, that's the, the mindset that we have.